guys, welcome back to Irony Completed. So today's video is going to be a book haul and this is the setup that I'm going to be filming my book videos in in the future. This is my, this here, it's my bookcase. I also have some Doctor Who pictures behind me and I'm kind of covering them which is sad. And then you can't see but down here on my left is my other bookcase and a couple of you guys have requested a book shelf tour. Um, ever since I did my makeup collection and storage, so I will be doing that after I get back from Finland. This is probably the last video that I'm going to be filming before I go to Finland, so I just wanted to make sure I was pre-filming stuff for you guys. Anyway, this is going to be a book haul, like I said, so a mini book haul, to be honest. I didn't pick up that many things. I picked up six books, but I wanted to do a book haul, because I never do book hauls. I kind of just include books in like collective hauls and stuff, whereas I actually want to start doing just book hauls, although I never really buy that many books all at one go. Does this lipstick make my teeth look yellow? Kind of. So yeah, thumbs up if you would like a bookshelf tour. Bookshelves, I have like three. Then yeah, thumbs up this video if you would like a bookshelf tour. Most of the books that I picked up were from the secondhand store near where I live, but I did pick up two from Waterstones because they were buy one get one half price. I picked up the Last Star. This is the final book in the Fifth Wave series, which, as I, as you guys may know, is one of my favourite book series of all time. I'm obsessed with it. I just recently read the second one and I'm in love. This is the last book in the series and... Have you guys read this yet? Is it any good? Let me know. I'm a bit worried because I feel like final books in the series are always the most disappointing. Like, Breaking Dawn was the worst Twilight book and Allegiant was the worst Divergent book. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. Let me know if it's any good. I'm going to take this on holiday with me so I can read it there because I read the last two very, very quickly. I don't know where to put this. And the other book that I got in the buy one get one half price deal was Wolf by Wolf. And this is by Ryan Groudin. Groudin? Groudin? I have no idea how you pronounce this. E-R-A-U-D-I-N. Grodin? I'm gonna say Grodin, just for the sake of this video. And this book is set in an alternate reality where the Nazis won World War II and Hitler is controlling almost all of the world, including all of Europe, America and Africa. And this is the story of a Holocaust survivor who was experimented on during her time in a concentration camp and she can shapeshift and change the way she looks and it is her mission to kill Hitler. So I read a couple of chapters of this the, the other night just while I was skim skim reading it and it sounds really really good i really like the writing style so far it's first person which is my favorite kind of book and it just sounds like a really interesting book so again if any of you have read this then please let me know what you think but other than that i'm really excited to read this most of the books that I buy are from a second-hand shop near my house, not near my house, in my hometown basically, and everything in there is £1 unless it's marked differently, so it's a really, really cheap bookshop. You can get some really, really great deals and it's my favourite place to shop for books because he has a lot of classics, a lot of plays, a lot of non-fiction and a lot of contemporary books, which I really enjoy. It's a really great mix. It's just some guy like running out of the bottom floor of his house. It's kind of amazing and the guy who runs it is great too. Anyway, I was in there today with my friend Lauren. Hi Lauren if you watch this. and. She recommended me to pick up this book. This is the only other contemporary book that I picked up. This is called You and it's by Caroline Kepnes. Kepnes? Kepnes? And Lauren said that she read this and she's just got the sequel to it as well and that she really, really, really loved this book. This book is about a stalker from the perspective of a stalker. He spots a girl who comes into the bookshop where he works and then he falls in love with her and starts stalking her. So this sounds like it's a really creepy, interesting, psychological thriller and I'm really, really excited to read it because Apparently the Daily Mail called it Thriller of the Year, although I don't trust that trash newspaper. But I really like psychological thrillers and creepy, murdery, detective-y kind of books like this, so hopefully I will enjoy this one too, and thank you Lauren for the recommendation. I got one really thin book and one really thick book. The really thin book is The Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. If you don't know, this is the book that Apocalypse Now is based on and I love Apocalypse Now. It's a really really great film. I really really enjoy it and it is an adaptation of this book which is set a long long time earlier as far as I know. Like Apocalypse Now is set during the Vietnam War and this is a lot 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 more early than that. Anyway, I've always loved Apocalypse Now ever since I saw it, so I decided it was about time that I read The Heart of Darkness, especially considering it's such a thin book that I could get through it fairly quickly, and I'm really excited to read it. Have any of you guys read it? Is it good? Is it as good as Apocalypse Now? I'm kind of interested because they're very, very different, but they're adaptations, so I'm intrigued. Ah, by the way, this is a BAFTA sign in front of me because I went to the TV BAFTAs. Actually, I've been to the film BAFTAs twice and the TV BAFTAs once, and I stole 
one of the boards from the red carpet. So that's what that is behind me in case you're wondering. Uh, the really really thick book that I got is Ulysses by James Joyce and I bought this book Mm. I put down as my second choice for one of my third year modules um, a module called Ulysses where basically you just study Ulysses by James Joyce for like however many weeks? 12 weeks? Oh god. Anyway, so I've never ever read it before and I thought I should get a head start and pick this up and maybe start reading it this summer or at least this way I have a copy for when September rolls around. I have been wanting to read this for a while because I know it's like the most iconic piece of Irish literature ever basically, or one of the most iconic pieces of Irish literature anyway, and I'm really really interested, but also I know that it's supposed to be like a rewriting or like a parody or whatever of the Odyssey, and I hated the Odyssey, but this one's supposed to be like parodying it, right? So maybe it'll be funny, I don't know. The guy at the bookshop said that he really pitied me when I picked it up, so I doubt that it's for the mainstream reader, but I'm kind of excited to read it and also terrified at the same time because it's really intimidatingly large and dense. My dad's PhD friends were like studying this and I feel really grown up and scared. Ooh, my light is so swelteringly hot. The last book that I picked up is a non-fiction book and it is The Serial Killers. It's called Serial Killers A Shocking History and I don't know who it's by exactly. The publisher is Igloo Books and I don't think it's got one author. No I don't think this has one author but it's by Igloo Books Publishing House. Anyway I picked this up and I was like, oh, serial killers, in case you didn't know, I'm kind of mildly obsessed with like serial killer documentaries and like reading about serial killers and I love like the Rob Dykes, uh, Seriously Strange, Anatomy of Murder, all those kinds of series that he does, love them. So I decided to pick this up because it is an A to Z, what's the first one? It goes all the way through from Beverly Allett to Anna Zwanziger. And it's got some serial killers that I've heard of, you know, like Robert Black, Ted Bundy, Charles Manson, Jack the Ripper, but it also has some serial killers I have never ever heard of before, which is really interesting to me. And honestly, the reason I picked it up was it's got Charles Manson on the front, which was like really immediately drew me in. But then the inside cover is a picture of Eileen Warnos, and she's one of my favourite serial killers to read about because she's just such an interesting case and the Nick Broomfield documentaries about her are really interesting. So that's kind of what mostly drew me to this book. But also I just really enjoy reading about serial killers and watching things about serial killers and that's probably really weird but I wanted to pick it up because that's kind of in my area of interest. So why don't you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys have picked up lately in terms of books or what books you are currently reading in case anyone was wondering. I am almost finished as I'm recording this with Milk Sulfates and I'll Be Starvation so hopefully I will be finished with that by the time that I go on holiday in four days and then I will be able to take new books and read new things on this holiday. <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching and sticking with me through this pre-recorded period. I will see you guys when I am back from Finland. Bye!